Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Tech Gala and today we have Sumana with us. So I have known Sumana for around three years as of now and Sumana is a MLH person. Whenever anyone have any sort of questions related to MLH, it was always, hey Sumana, can you just help him order out? And Sumana was always helping to them. So talking about that, Sumana has been a prep fellow. She, then, uh, then she became a full-time fellow. Post that, she started working with MLH and in the process, she also got the opportunity to work with Meta Engineers directly. And after that, oh, there's a lot more. She even got a fully funded trip to USA. And that's something makes Sumana a complete MLH go-to person. And let's hear from her. So before we start, Sumana, uh, do you mind introducing yourself a bit? Uh, I'm Sumana Basu, a final year student doing my Bachelor's of Technology in Computer Science and Engineering from National Institute of Technology, Raudkela. And I'm a tech enthusiast and I love creating applications that stay on the internet. And I recently interned with SAP and will be joining them as a full-time employee as well. I have been an MLH fellow twice and now I'm working with them as a part-time employee. And I also got selected uh, in Google Summer of Code and was working under the organization Open Food Facts. Moreover, I love taking part in hackathons and, uh, you know, making new projects using various tech stacks. So yeah, that pretty much sums me up. That's a lot of things, Sumana, and I guess, you know, as I mentioned before as well, that Sumana has been an MLH person because she has been working with MLH for, I guess, around two years as of now, and she's also working as a part-time fellow. Also, uh, Sumana, like, uh, for people, you know, like a lot of folks don't know about MLH. It's the first time talking about myself. Like, I have also been a prep fellow, and I got to know about MLH uh, from uh, Hackathon, that was Hack the Mountains. And so, so, a lot of people, like, who have no idea so would you mind explaining to them what MLH is exactly? Sure. So first of all, MLH, the full form is Major League Hacking. So it is a global hacker community. And basically our mission is to empower hackers. So uh, MLH conducts a lot of uh, programs, including uh, various hackathons and fellowships. So approximately, you can say we have over 200 plus weekend long hackathons every year and the number keeps on increasing. So you can imagine the amount of people we are impacting with it. And our main aim is to kind of inspire innovation, cultivate communities and teach people the real world skills that are needed, which are not taught to you in college. So uh, we also have MLH fellowships, as I mentioned, which is the team that I am part of. So MLH fellowship provides an opportunity to gain real world experience working on open source projects. So uh, we partner with companies like Meta, Google, AWS, Adobe, etc. And so basically fellows are mentored here directly by the engineers of the companies that are working at these partner companies. So the program is kind of designed so that you can build your skills and expand your professional network and contribute to the wider technology community. <clears throat> That's a lot of things. Like yeah, even like, you know, I was also interested with because a lot of companies, as you mentioned about Meta, Adobe, AWS, Google. So those names sound, you know, very astonishing for anyone who is just starting out in tech. So that was also majorly a reason a lot of folks are applying to the fellowships. So talking about that, Samara, like uh, from your resume and even as you mentioned that there are two types of fellowships. One uh, we can say is like MLH Prep Fellowship and another one is MLH Full-Time Fellowship or Full Fellowship. So how about if you can chalk out the differences between both of them? All right. So the prep program is a three week preparation program, which is for uh, people who want to experience the fellowship without actually committing to the entire full 12 week program. So you'll be building out a portfolio of personal projects and experiment with new technologies by collaborating in small groups, which will be global. So you'll meet people from many different backgrounds in it. And the best thing is that the fellows who successfully complete the prep program get a very high priority of getting selected in the future 12 week fellowship programs. So this is about the prep fellowship. Another thing I forgot to add is that the prep fellowship is unpaid. So uh, you don't receive any stipend in it, unlike the, uh, the main 12 week fellowship where you do receive a huge stipend as well. Um, and talking about the full fellowship, it has three tracks, uh, software engineering, site reliability engineering, and web three engineering. So 
they unlike the prep which is just focused on making your portfolio with some projects uh this is very focused on each particular track and you get to work under actual industrial experts working uh in these fields full time in companies in huge companies that like i mentioned and um you get a full stipend and it basically i feel like the best part of the full fellowship is that you get mentorship directly from the industry experts and which can open a lot of doors for you in the future okay and you know like what i have understood from this is like basically uh, pre fellowship is more of like a mentorship thing whereas full time fellowship is more of like an internship thing where because you are directly getting all the industry experts who are working with you and they're telling you about the know hows of the things and in in the production environment so that is something different when we compare both of them uh, yeah. but sumana right. so, if you want to add something yeah yeah right so as i mentioned and as the name suggests that mlh prep is basically preparing you for the mlh fellowship which will help you a lot in your career yeah go ahead yeah absolutely and uh, also sumana you mentioned that you post you know your fellowship you joined and started working as a part time employee of uh, with eminent so how about if you share that like your experience uh, working with beta uh, and like how was all it and, and like what was your exact role so maybe if you can just you know enlighten with us about post fellowship how can fellows join uh, the team and maybe they can get the exposure while being an insider as well as you can even earn a bit of money so you know how was it working with meta while staying in mlh right so i am working as a technical program associate at mlh so my role is basically to help the fellows and guide them throughout the entire journey of the fellowship so i help them to learn and level up themselves and also i'm sort of like a bridge between the fellows the partner companies and the mlh team so my job is basically to make sure that everything is going as it should be and both the fellows and the mentors are able to um use each other's full potential so uh, while i was working with meta mentors as well um i was interacting with uh, them on a daily or maybe weekly basis and they used to tell us about a lot of uh, things that you won't know as a student so a lot of industry experience was shared with us and we used to have uh, regular chats with them where we got to know where we got to know like the actual concepts that are used in a production environment and yeah so to conclude like my role roles include uh, one on one mentoring and conducting events solving blockers and majorly having a smooth communication uh, throughout yeah and that's really great you know like once you joined as a pre fellow then you became a full time fellow wherein you were having a pod leader or technical pro- program associate and post that you became one of them and then you started guiding people right like you were working with uh, engineers from beta so how was it like were you guys meeting on you know every day or was it a weekly meeting you have with beta engineers or so what did you learn uh, if you would like to mention that as well mm-hmm. of course so uh, first of all like we had one hour meetings which were weekly and then of course they were always there to help us whenever we needed them so if we needed uh, like some extra support we could get on a call with them anytime we wanted and uh, they were very supportive and very helpful like um, it was initially very intimidating for me to talk to people from meta like such senior engineers at meta and um, once i talked with them they were very easy to talk to they made you feel very comfortable and it was a great learning experience because um as the pod i was leading uh, was based on production engineering which is now called site reliability engineering so um in that like there were a lot of new concepts that i was also new to i had no clue about how like such a huge uh, organization like meta is actually working in real life how like if something shuts down then what actually happens and all these things i was able to learn through them through their actual experiences they would uh, also share us some sto- stories of when you know uh, facebook shut down for one minute and then they had to you know had to have a huge ruckus around the company and then try to fix the bug and find what caused the problem and it was really interesting to know how everything world, uh, works in the real world so yeah it was a pretty great experience and i think i made really good connections and still in touch with those mentors and 
it's it was a very good opportunity for me and not only that um, i got the opportunity to get in touch with the meta fts but mlh has also provided me provided with me with a lot of opportunities uh, including like a uh, speaking at different places and uh, like this opportunity as well and especially my favorite one which was going to usa as well that's really nice you know the amount of networking which you can get when you're working with a organization like mlh and you get to meet folks you know around the companies from meta google like, that's really great so so you know, before we get into your trip with MLH to US. How about if we just talk about the payout? Maybe the stipends of uh, people receive in MLH fellowships, and even when you're working as a technical program associate, are you working uh, just for the sake of working for the community, or are you getting paid for that? Like maybe if you can shed light about the payouts. Right. So uh, in the MLH fellowship, as I mentioned, prep fellowship is unpaid, but the main fellowship you uh, pay you get a payout of about. Five thousand USD, and uh, that is a lot as a student. But that, of course, depends on the country you are working from. So, to give you a rough idea, it's up to five thousand USD. And uh, talking about as a full-time employee, a, f- a full-time or part-time employee, of course, I'm not allowed to share the exact payout. Uh, and it is a good uh, enough payout. Uh, it's not like that you will feel that you're working for free or you're being underappreciated. You'll get the uh, get a good amount that kind of suffices uh, you. And uh, I feel like they're very particular about this also that they want to make sure that money wise also they're keeping us happy. So even if we work like one extra hour someday for some little thing, they'll make sure that that is tracked as well. Um, and we get paid for every single thing we do. Okay. And yeah, I am also like, I know that like you're not sure the amount of money, but you know, I have my sources inside. And from what I understood is like if uh, for one hour and if you are in, in India, so they are paying you the amount you need to sit in Starbucks and have three coffees at the same point of time. So they are giving that amount of money, which is really good. Okay. Uh, so moving forward, uh, so when I like now, as you mentioned about the fully funded trip to USA, and I'm pretty sure a lot of folks, uh, especially from developing nations and most of Asia, must be pretty motivated. Like, hey, uh, I want to go to USA. I want to, you know, see all those things which are watching in web series or things so how it happened like so how did emails happen to you and talk a bit about that like yeah so uh mlh organizes a conference called hackon uh, where hackathon organizers and the hacker community leaders they come together and learn from each other and build quite essential relationships. So uh, in that we have a lot of amazing speakers and a lot of creative activities to bond as a global community. So this uh, uh, HackOn conference was happening online for the past few years because of COVID. And this uh, last year, they had it for the first time again offline. And um, as an MLH team member, I I was invited there to represent the team and kind of handle the organization and help the hackers have a smooth conference over there. So my trip was fully funded. Like I didn't have to spend like a single penny over there and with the uh, flights cost and staying, everything was fully funded by them. And I got to meet so many talented people over there and had a lot of fun. So it was a pretty amazing time for me. It was my first time going to the States as well. So I went there and then uh, I think the first day we also had like a small meetup in their office where they got us pizzas and that was the first time we actually met everyone, all the employees uh, in real life. And it was pretty crazy meeting the CEO of the company as well. And it was really fun. We interacted with each other and created sort of a bond. And then we went to the conference and then the conference also, there were a lot of hackers uh, that came uh, as hacker leaders, which were there. And um, it was really fun uh, listening to the speakers and uh, talking to all the sponsors that were there. And in and all, it was an amazing uh, fun trip. And one more interesting event that we had was like after the conference was over, we had an MLH team summit, which was basically that the entire MLH team was going on a vacation. (laughs) So uh, it was two days of us just relaxing and bonding, which is, I feel very important because 
the entire team is working remote and we are in different parts of the world so it is very important for us to bond in that way and give us a chance to kind of feel like a family okay so that's really nice like you know the as i mentioned before like the level of networking which you have over there when you are talking and meeting folks like uh, talking about mike swift the ceo he's folks 30 under 30 then you met all the famous indian youtuber like iskuna kushwa and everyone right so that's really good so someone like uh, who is like actually who can go like is it anyone who is a fellow uh, are they eligible for the fully funded trip or is it something more that the fellows need to do to get to like this opportunity uh for this particular conference it was uh only for the uh, mlh team core team members uh the people who were organizing the event and uh, that you can get in um by working at mlh and uh, secondly uh people who were actually speaking at the events they also got some sort of relaxation in or i could say some sort of sponsorship uh not complete sponsorship but yeah the speakers did get some um sponsorship as well that's really nice you know like so yeah that gives us more you know motivation to stick with mlh post working as a fellow like as in like i believe when you are working as a fellow like it's like more of a learning thing but when you are joining a mlh it's like giving back to the community so and that's finally when you get to go to a place where a lot of folks are dreaming that's really important so so when i guess like till now maybe like you have shared a lot of you know cherries which people want to collect in and they want to become someone in to like you know be a fellow or then they might even choose of working as a part time employee so mm-hmm. maybe like how if you can just share some tips and tricks that no one knows now we will be sharing on how they can be a village fellow mm-hmm. uh so first of all there are many ways to get into and contribute into the mlh community so first of all of course there's being a hacker because that's our entire community so we run regular hackathons and um, you know there's also we have the special title called the mlh top 50 which is given to the best or or you can say the most active 50 hackers which are creating a difference in the community so that is one way to get a huge title which is highly recognized like i've seen uh, past top 50 people their uh, articles have come in the newspaper and it's a very big deal so that is one way you can get involved in the mlh community the second way is of course through fellowships after the fellowship uh, if you perform really well and if your uh, pod leader which is like a technical program associate feels that you're doing a really great job and you might be fit for uh, becoming the pod leader they might recommend you might refer you as well as and when openings come so make sure that when you in the fellowship you perform really well okay and it's not it just not means that you're uh, doing the tasks assigned but it also means that you uh, we can see the sense of community in you like you're helping other people taking out time to help other people out or taking new initiatives by yourselves these things are very important and things that uh, we look for when we are selecting people to get in and apart from that there's also another very cool opportunity which is called the mlh coach so this is uh, this responsibility is basically to help hacker uh, hacker organizers so basically all these hackathons that we run most of them are in collaboration with some or the other community like maybe some college community or some school community or anywhere so the mlh coaches go to the um, hackathons and help them and make sure that the process is smooth they conduct events they um, fix blockers anything like basically the entire responsibility of the hackathon is on the mlh coach so uh, since now everything is getting out of covid also so uh, being an mlh coach you'll get a lot of opportunities to travel and it is like based on the region wise so if suppose you're in india you'll not only get to travel inside india but you'll get to travel inside the entire asia so you might get a chance to go to singapore or thailand or somewhere else so it's a pretty cool opportunity i feel like people should apply to and not many people know and this opportunity is mostly open uh, all the time at uh, careers.mlh.io which is their career website so if someone is enthusiastic about hackathons likes to organize events and loves traveling they should definitely apply for mlh coach 
and uh, yeah there are many more part time and full time opportunities that keep coming up and you can of course see them at their career website and one i feel like once you get in uh, inside any post of uh, mls like as any type of employee you'll be able to um, go up the ladder very quickly because uh, they always like people who are a lot um, passionate about communities and yeah if you have that in yourself you'll be able to go far and yeah so when i also agree with that like you know like working one step forward as you mentioned like you always see like even people who have joined as technical program associate or other positions you always see like you know who is working that one step more than the folks in the other leagues so yeah absolutely that so you know talking about that even uh, initially fellows or uh, people who are aspirants and who wants to get into uh, the fellowships so they have a bit of this guy is on how to write the essay questions so for that folks i have written a, a blog which i will be sharing in the description so do check that out so i guess uh, most of the questions which you have by writing the essay it will be done and if you need something more do let me know i will add that in the blog as well so so when i like it was really really nice uh, meeting you and you know i tried to cover as many things that came to me because there are a lot of keywords and a lot of things which you did while working with mlh so you know there is a chance that i might have missed something and if you if there is anything which you want to add on uh, feel free to do that so you know let's uh, have our last segment that is final thoughts yeah uh, thanks aniket first of all um, like i would like to second aniket on that that his blog really has the answers to all your questions so uh, because it has helped a lot of people uh, that i know and i also like whenever someone asks me about the essay questions and everything i always send the link to his blog so make sure you check that out if you want to get selected in one go and um yeah so as final thoughts well uh, i mentioned a lot of benefits of getting into mlh like there are a lot of benefits that you get like going to us and uh, the stipend there's a lot of things but um like there's one thing that i would like to again specifically mention because that's very important is that you have to remember that at the end of the day it is a community okay like although it is a company as well but their main focus is the community and it is a community like i have never seen before uh, for them like hackers are the utmost topmost priority and they will make sure like they will put everything they have to make sure that you know they can help them okay so um, i know that the tags of being an mlh fellow or the top 50 all these tags are very important and they'll help you a lot in your future but make sure one of the reasons you do all these things is because you want to help the community and mlh honestly has really changed my life and i'm grateful to all the people i have met in the way in my entire journey and uh, i would Uh, at the end especially like to thank aniket for supporting me and pushing me throughout the journey because with my level of under confidence that i had i don't think i would have ever applied to the fellowship or even the part time role <laughs> so um yeah at the end i would say like if you have any of the viewers have anything related to mlh or anything under the sun you can definitely reach me out you can connect with me on my linkedin or anywhere all my socials i hope aniket will link them in the description and yeah that's all from my side okay thanks a lot sumana so the description will be a uh, pretty resource rich so folks if you are watching till now you have the plus point so do check the descriptions so firstly i will be linking uh, the career side as sumana mentioned that if you want to work as a coach so maybe you can directly apply uh, just check if that is open for apac or you don't apply for north america so that won't make sense uh, but from that i will be also linking to the mlh hackathon side because yeah, i have been after hearing about the top 15 now even i am motivated to take part in hackathon sport it has been a long time so yeah i will try to take part in the next weekend for sure uh moving ahead uh, it was really good samana i hope you have covered approximately every question which people have so folks if you have any other things which you want to ask feel free to reach out to samana or even you can mention in the comments we will be trying to answer them as soon as possible yeah so thanks a lot samana for joining and bye bye